and we're at suffering the effects of 21 consecutive years of drought. We're here at Lake Mead, we're down to about 36 percent capacity of storage level. Um, our elevation currently sets at about 1,072 feet above mean sea level. Uh, later this week we'll likely hit elevation 1071 which is the lowest level the reservoir has dropped to since initial filling back in the late 1930s. What it's going to mean at least probably in the next several years is uh, most of your uh, water user entities are going to have to do with a little bit less water. Uh, we're going to have to stretch water further and also give the reservoir, the reservoirs on the Colorado River, um, more time to uh, re recapture water and, and to rebuild. We've been preparing for this moment for about 20 years, literally, and, and there are agreements among the states as to who will absorb um, how much of the shortage if that comes to pass. And so that's already been settled out as to, to who is going to take how much of a haircut when it comes to using the river. The beauty with though was Southern Nevada Water Authority that provides water to Las Vegas is they live with it well within their means as far as not using their full 300,000 acre foot annual entitlement. Uh, most of the water that uh, Las Vegas uses is recaptured is cleaned back up and put in Lake Mead. So Las Vegas gets uh, return flow credits for water that, that goes back into the reservoir. So Las, Southern Nevada Water Authority lives well within its 300,000 acre, acre foot entitlement every year. It's going to be very important for the residents here and for the businesses to do all they can to conserve. I wouldn't characterize it as a panic, but yeah, urgency is probably a better word. Um, all of the basin states we deal with, they realize the consequences of the two, two decades of drought. So everybody's at the table to work together to develop some options uh, to stretch water further.